Hello, my people. Let's talk about Inubu again. Ashiwaju. Babani. <laughs> um, today, we go talk about, about him and those things he has done. In particular, about human resources. Specifically, human, you know, resources. Those who he don't train, we don't become somebody politically in life. Make we start. I go start with um, the vice president of the federation today, as at the time of doing this recording, Professor Yemi Leke Oshibajo, S A N. He was out on the general in Lagos. If you like, say, not being sent down to school. Eh, not being sent down to school. But when in they look for technocrats, who in go put for this place? In they put round peg for inside round hole. That is one of his qualifications. That man in the call, Tinubu. <laughs> See here, Oshibajo. He grew, he grew man, grew man, put out for the place. From there, he can't become vice president. Abi, you know, sir. Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila. They met for America. He introduced him to politics. And now Femi Bajabi Amila. From Lagos, like joke like joke, small by small, little by little. Now be speaker for House of Reps now for the whole of Nigeria. Number four person or what do they call them? Then talk about a former governor of Lagos State. Baba Tundera Fashola. He knew I'm true in cousin or something. As then they discuss it, say, say this man, this cerebral. Fashola saw that in Tinubu. Tinubu see that in Fashola. In a controversial way, he just speak him. Nobody know. You know, you know Fashola before then. The time when I met Fashola, he was chief of staff to Tinubu. He was the last chief of staff before he made him governor. That time, controversy, people fight. Oh, how you go just decide, put this man now? What thing happened? He said, no, please, help me, join me to put him there. I can see him as a material. He did not prove it. He has proved it and he's still proving it. See Fashola ahead now. Everything done great. Hard work. That man, they said, he did think, he know, very innovative. Like Tinubu, like the Oga. Those people never come out to deny him, say, not being mixed them. Politically, I know, say, academically, all that things. But, uh, uh -uh. let us give the crown to the person where they serve the crown. Followed by another ex governor, Akinwumi Ambode. He was a counter general. When I knew him, very forthright, very hardworking he was. Let's give it to Ambode. He Fashola built on what Tinubu left. Then Ambode built on it as uh, what Fashola left. Continuity, they lad Lagos. Nah, no, you can't take it away from them. But you got you like the present governor of your state. If some people they call him saying that Tinubu's cousin, at, at least thank God they say. He get cousin because they say he just dropped from heaven. Say no, they don't know him, mama. They don't know him, papa. At least somebody know. Say we tell her now, cousin. Honorable Adifulire Urilukwe. She was commissioner for women affairs and poverty alleviation in Lagos State. Deputy governor, and now he's in uh, Abuja as a, a special. Uh, assistant to the president. You see, all these people where I dimension the political clout, and they repeat them again because some people they deny. No, oh, you know, make me own, not be make me own. Uh, that is us, especially we, Yoruba. From what you told her now, to Rayo Farebe Shola, former governor as well. You they see the list Fashola, Ambode, Sonwo Lu, Oyetola. Eh, mention Baba the present governor. See how that man too they build on top of what they don't leave. How you go? 
you cannot, the, the history of these people can never be complete without remembering or mentioning Baba Jagabambogu, eh? the master strategist in Yonia. From there, Uncle, make we go at those states, go other parts of Nigeria. Ushio Baba. I doubt so surely. That man will be a trade union leader. That way they wear khaki all the time. When they become government, change them more small from khaki to like uh, wool, wool, but the same style. Uh -uh. He became governor now. From there, he became chairman. Oh, I think whatever for APC. True, who? How did he get that? Eh? Let us always remember, look back, and think of God. Though when you start denying people, Luth helped you and pushed you up through the rungs of the ladder to get where you get to. Now we go to Dr. Kyle Defiemi of Ekiti State. I remember that time we they do governorship elections for all these Yoruba speaking states. We are only to know enter. He tell all the other states where you know say rigging day. He say we go go court. They go court, and at this same professor Oshibajo that was you know putting things in place in the legal way. Eventually, the carried this fire means the Rao for Shalas. They eventually came to power. You know? Now, Roti Miakele Dolu. Let's say it. People who went through Tinubu's school of politics. Even Senator Ebikule Amosu, whatever may have transpired after. Huh? He was a candidate of that school. Abiola Ajimobi. The late Senator Abiola Jimobi. He will be turning in his grave, remembering how he met Inoba and how he got to where he got to before death came calling. Femi Pedronko, who was uh, once the deputy governor of Tinobu, you know politics now. If you are not in the same ideology or in the same, you know, policy making area. You know, the cutting might uh, fall. Late Senator Adebayo Oshinawa. And then Senator Olure Mitinobu. Who else? It's one time they go say, I put in wife. You go help your family who, if they want to aspire to be there. And they have the qualification, the wherewithal, and the right. Then GOS. Ganyu Solomon. You remember him? Then there's Senator Lamile Adiola. And then Senator Baba Femi Oyudu. Those full fought in those days. In June 12th, the mandate. Oyudu was facing fire. He didn't leave the country. He was facing fire from a bachelor. They were looking for him. But the newspaper went to Tinobu, Tinobu sent a message that they should sell one of his properties. In Nigeria, to keep the work going, the work going, part of the money that they, they got from that property they sold, they gave to Judu to be able to continue to run uh, the newspaper and the, you know the magazine. In my opinion, now he says he has a political difference that um, he will not be supporting somebody who saved him from you know crumbling in those days when he couldn't even pay the salaries of his staff, <sighs> like we say. 20 children cannot play for 20 years. Policies might change. Ideologies change. And then let's move on to um, Senator James Faleke. A dent Tinobu man. He's still standing pam 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 behind him any day. What of uh, Senator Dr. Olorunimbe Mamura? These are people who went to school, the School of Politics, the Nubu School of Politics, and they have never failed. There come Senator Tokumba Fikuyomi. Yes, there may be differences, like I say, as time goes on. Senator Benga Shafa, Lance, from Lagos to Fedra, Abuja Street, Bagams. Honorable Taufik Adaranijo, he was once the chairman of Forilia Gigi Local Council Development Authority. 
And it did exceptionally well before moving on to the House of Reps in Abuja. Uh, he's now a commissioner, I think, um, in Lagos um, State uh, Something Commission. Yeah, Taufik Tako. And then there's Dr. Idia Adebule. Senator Adetokumo Habiru. And then Ambassador Musili Obanekoro. You know, those are names. Fantastic names of Nigerian politicians. Those who have made indelible marks in the Nigerian political sphere. What about our Minister for Information? Alaji Lahi Muhammad. Yes. He was once, uh, I think he was once uh, Tinubu's chief of staff too. He got to the, like the helm of um, their positions in uh, in the political um, terrain. Honorable Okwemi Bandili, one time commissioner for information and strategy in Lagos. And um, eventually he, he went to invite for he aspired to be governor of Ekiti State and he's still in the political arena, you know, still there now. But they're still in power. They have been trained, groomed, you know, to go as far as they can. Let's talk about the present chairman of uh, the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NIDCOM, Abike Dabiri, a seasoned broadcaster turned politician. Uh, he served in the House of Reps before being discovered by Buhari to be good for that position. She's still doing well and she's really done a lot for people in the diaspora. Then Dr. Moise Banure. Yes, big names in politics in the south uh, west of Nigeria who are really making waves. Dr. Le Kikbiton, I think he was once uh, Commissioner for Health in Lagos State. Dr. Kaudi Opefa, uh, still, you know, very much around. These are names of those that went through that school and are still enjoying the fruits of their labor and for listening to the master strategist in politics in Africa today. Dr. Ben Akabwize. Oh, that name. You're wondering. You see, that's the thing about Ashiwaju. <laughs> he, 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 he just he doesn't see a line, tribal line or anything anywhere. He crosses all the carpets. No religious line, no tribal, no political, uh, ethnic or anything like. Akabwize from the East. How would you make such a person the man in charge of budget in Lagos State. And now this man has now graduated to be called to serve his motherland in the uh, in the center. How about Adiemi uh, Kufuriji? Mudashiro Obasa? Honorable Toy Suarao. Honorable Larry Oguyemi. Honorable Ayo Adewale, Honorable Abdulbag Ladi Balogu, Honorable Kamal Bayewu, Honorable Muri Okwala, Mr. Babatunde Fowler, who was in charge when things started changing, the IGR of Lagos coming up, and Tinobu discovered him and put him in the right place. Henri Butunji Bello too is still on, still going, and progressing. Henri Sunday Dari. You remember Henri um, Kenti Babi Beton? He was in the chief press officer in Lagos State in the days when Tinubu was um, the governor. And then he eventually became uh, the chairman of one of the local governments. He's still there and still going on politically. Ismail Adewusi and my main man Ibukwe no, Mr. Joe Ibukwe and so on and so forth. You see? And people like that 
from all areas of Nigeria who the cap fits professionally as a technocrat will be the person Tinobu puts there. And I'm sure I can tell you this, that that is what he's going to do if he became president. How can I mention those who are professionals and proper professionals in their chosen profession? How would I forget Honorable Dele Alaki, the Honorable Commissioner for Information and Strategy then, two-time commissioner, who was like, uh, he was uh, Tinobu's right-hand man. They were always together. That's Honorable Dele Alaki, the master strategist. Aside from Ashwaju teaching people how to catch fish rather than give them fish, what else could you do to, you know, make people display their professional acumen where they are best at doing them? Is an extraordinary destiny helper, they call him, a ready buffer in needy times. That's a charge. These people have become leaders in their respective fields and endeavors. You know the thing about this man is that when it when it taps into you or when it discovers you, it leaves you and lets you flow freely without hindrance. It doesn't come breathing over your neck or asking you or controlling you or telling you what to do or what not to do. It leaves you to practice and leaves you to be the director and the officer in charge of that, the master strategist. I will advise you to subscribe now for more like this. The truth, they say, shall set you free. Keep keeping safe. It's me, KBSC again. Subscribe now. Thank you.